Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk with the Saw right here on Superlative Radio. And today, as I promised on the last episode with Loki, uh, we're going to be talking about Black Widow. Yes, we are. That's why I got my Black Widow shirt on today. That's right. And um, got I to got see my it over... black shirt on. Yeah, so it's, there you it's, go. Yeah, so I'm we got there. we we got uh, we got to see it over the weekend. And um, Boy, so was if, that you, if you haven't seen it, spoilers. Just that's your own that's warning. Right. Yeah, go watch it. Come back. Um, fantastic. Awesome movie. Fantastic movie. Awesome it really movie. was. Um, you know, uh, me thank and, you, by me, the way. Oh yeah. Me and Kim watched it. You and Denise yep, watched yep. it. So like on it, his bill, on my bill. <laughs> yeah. Best, it was the cheapest I've ever gone to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really, really phenomenal movie. Um, just, uh, watch the screen here. You'll see some really cool clips. Yeah, it's going to be right. Clips. Yep. Um, but yeah, it was it was good. Um, what so a great, the movie, great movie. Um, now the one thing is, is they said that they were going to have an old clip from Civil War that they were going to recycle and uh, that they filmed but didn't put into Civil War that they were going to put in this movie that I didn't was see it. of Did Robert they? Downey Jr. Oh, okay, they didn't see so, that, and they didn't have it. And yeah. he's listed on the cast here. I have the cast list in front of me. Of course, the cast starred Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, as yep. we know. And uh, that's it, enough for me to watch it. I mean, just to see her. I mean, it's enough for me. Like, so, you know, well worth the well worth the money just to see her. So that's that's <laughs> well it for worth. Me. You mean well worth my money just to, you, <laughs> you to see her? <laughs> <laughs> well worth your money for me to get to see it. Yeah, that's right. See, um, this is why I like working in that outfit, right? Oh, is that it? That's yeah, why I like I working so. with this guy. You I know, he's, that was he's, you. <laughs> so, uh, of course, it also had um, her sister. Uh, only thing Yelena, I have to say, though, if I can interrupt, is he didn't take me out to dinner first, but that's it's okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yelena uh, Belova, and uh, she was played by Florence Pugh, uh, or Pug. I'm not sure how you say that. How would you say that? Actually, that name is, you know, oh. this, you know Tammy Wynette, the country singer? Yeah. That was her original last name. So what is it? Pugh. Pugh. Okay, so I did say it right. You did say it right. Okay, uh, and of course, uh, it starred David Harbour as uh, Red Guard or Red Guardian. Yep. Yep. And uh, it starred um, uh, Rachel Wise as uh, Weiss. Melina My Weiss. Okay. Yep. yep. She was and, in uh, a couple it movies. It starred um, Ray uh, Winstone as Drakeoff. Yep. And it starred Olga Kurlenko, Kurlenko as the Taskmaster. And of course, William Hurt as General Ross. Yeah, he's getting old, boy. Yeah. Now, what? Uh, oh, did you? Oh, cool. Now, um, of course, as we mentioned off air, I have some, I have some issues with the movie. Yeah, you do. I have some issues with our producer who just is <laughs> <laughs> making noise over there. That's okay. He's allowed. Yeah, he's, he's allowed. He's not you. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. He doesn't stink up the place like Pongo, so no. I'll let it go. <laughs> you can keep your job for another week, you. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, um, no, uh, but overall, uh, I thought it was a good movie. It wasn't quite was a, what I was expecting. No, you said that off air. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do have a few issues. issues. Um, but overall, I did think it was a good movie. It's, it, there, it is certainly not the worst MCU movie. Um, as I still believe Thor the Dark World holds that title. Um, It'll take a lot to get out of that. I, <laughs> Thor the Dark World is just not great. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. Yeah. Um, but, you know, uh, I definitely think it's better than that. Um, I thought it was better than Ant-Man. Ant-Man was funnier, but I thought this was better than Ant-Man. You didn't like Ant-Man? Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I did. Because I, I enjoyed that. You know, like I would put Black Widow right in the middle rung of all the movies. Like it would be right in the middle somewhere. Okay. You know, it's not up at the top of my favorites, not the bottom, but it's right in the middle. All right. You know, okay. most of them. Um, but overall, yeah, it was it was a good movie. And uh, you said you really liked it. Oh, what, loved it. Yeah. Loved it. What did Denise think of it? Denise loved it too. She yeah. was Kim right really into it really liked too. it too. Yeah. She thought yeah. it was really good. Yeah. And uh, she really enjoyed it. And I did too. I just, you know, um, I have issues because, of course, being the comic geek that I am, there's things I know from the comics that didn't translate into the movie. You see, well. now that I can appreciate, you know. So those are my issues. But yeah. it wasn't that they're bad. It's just what they did. Well, so. I, I, can, I can empathize with what you're saying because, like, just to give you a very quick example, like when I first watched Walk the Line and I saw things that were not 
the way that it should be. It right. pretty much mm-hmm. ruined the movie for me. Oh, yeah. Well, this didn't ruin the movie for me. You see, I just... did. Because just watching it, like, from the very first time they made the first movie, I went, oh, come on. Like, if you're not going to stick to the script and you're not going to... If you're giving me a biopic, for God's sake, give me a biopic. Like, give me his life. Don't give me this Hollywood crap that you're throwing in there to make yeah, it... Yeah, you know, they, you did know? That, they did that with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Too, yeah, right? and you're like, going, this is Freddie not... Freddie Mercury, they just... Yeah, you're, you're going, this is, not what you're, you, this is not what you <clears throat> said it is. Call it a... You know, uh, based on a true story or based, you know, that I know I'm going and go, okay, so things are going to, but you're saying to me, this is what it is. And it's not. And yeah. I went through and I went through and I'm like, no. And to this day, I mean, if it comes on TV or something, I'll watch it and I'll kind of go, yeah. And I see now why I didn't like, it. but Reese Witherspoon, I will praise until the day I die because she nailed June Carter perfectly, made me tear up. It was so good. Yeah. The rest of it. Sorry. I like her. She's a phenomenal actress. Yeah. Well, she's from Nashville. She's born there. Yeah. So I guess that helps. But and she's still, not hard to look at. Either, no, so. no, she's definitely not. So I mean, it's pretty easy to watch a movie with her. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, even if you even if you turn the volume off, it's still good. That's right, because <laughs> she's there exactly. So you know. No. Um, but seriously, yeah. But, so uh, yeah, I understand where you're coming actress, from. But, yeah. yeah. But I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. So it's, it's so it's like that. It, it's not that my issues with it were that it was a bad movie. It's just some of the things they did didn't tr- translate. Just didn't, they just didn't fit with what should have been i guess from the comics okay but otherwise i i like they didn't I like stick the to the script um i like how it picked up basically right after civil war and it filled in the gap between civil war and just before she went off to join uh captain america and rescuing falcon yeah, and everybody sort of, from that's right raft exactly, yeah. at the end of that movie <clears throat> yeah that's, so mm-hmm. you know i thought it was overall i thought it was a good movie so here's the question on 10 what do you give this one Seven. Oh, okay. All right. Actually, that's better than I thought you were. I thought you were going to say six. Okay. No. no. Well, you know, like I said, middle of the road for me. So it's in the five to seven range. So I'd give it a seven. It was better than some okay. of the others. All right. Because, I mean, Ant-Man, Ant- I put Ant-Man at a solid six. Yeah. Yeah. You that's know? where I thought you were going to throw this so, one. So. Okay. Good. You know. Well, that says, for him, that's <clears throat> that's something. So I mean, I liked it. It was good. He's a fussy guy. Um, so, you know. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way. The first Thor movie I would put at a five. Okay. Right? Wow, really? So, okay. You know, to to put Ant Man and Black Widow both above them. Yeah, that says something. You yeah, know? For like, sure. So I mean it doesn't come anywhere near my top favorite, which is Avengers. Right. And I mean that's well, straight at a fifteen on a scale of ten. Yeah, yeah, that's way you know? up there. And for then you. I then of course uh, Infinity War is probably another one of my real favorites. So that's like at a ten too. Like it's you know Okay. You know, it's just it's it's there. It's a good movie. It's just not as good not as good as it could have been i guess but um but overall had a lot of action it had it had a lot of action it had it had some comedy um i thought it was really funny watching him try to squeeze pardon me squeeze into the red guardian costume again that was funny (laughs) yeah still fits (laughs) still fits yeah (laughs) that was hilarious yeah what? This still fit? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Just give me more vodka. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so well done. Yeah, it was. It was really good. Um, I thought uh, it was really cool how they um, they switched between the woman who had portrayed her mother and her. Yeah, when they, when they that was did really, that yeah, switch, yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was pretty cool how they had flipped that. Rachel Weiss. Yeah, and they had. Um, uh, and they had flipped their 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 who they were by with that's the face right, masks and right, stuff. Yeah. It was well um, done, too. I that thought was... that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, just lots of really interesting things and in how they did it. Um, but you had said that the um, – was originally a guy, not a girl. The Taskmaster. Taskmaster, thank you. Yeah, yeah. so that was – So in the comics, um, and I'm sure everybody that knows the comics See, I didn't know this. that until you said it. Taskmaster is an Avengers villain, and he has the same ability that – she had in this movie which is she can mimic anybody's fighting style now i can see that they can you know what the taskmaster can do and i i've seen that from the comics too um i have the same issue with what i'm going to say in the comics as i do with the movie um in the comics he can shoot an arrow just as good as hawkeye in the movie she could shoot an arrow just as good as hawkeye um Nobody can shoot an arrow just as good as Hawkeye. It doesn't matter who they are. And the reason for that comes from practice and skill. 
You can copy somebody's movements, but it doesn't mean you're going to fire an arrow or a gun as well as they do. So while the taskmaster might be able to copy how they how they pull back the string on a bow and how they maneuver the bow around, they're still not going to be as good of a shot with it as he would be. Um, so that doesn't the, translate yeah, for you. Yeah, it doesn't translate yeah. for me. The other thing was throwing the shield like Captain oh, yeah, America. That, yeah, yeah. Um, when they were going into the... Uh, when subway. they were going into the subway and they slid down, the shield came yep. over them and it <clears throat> embedded itself in the concrete. Now, the thing about that is the only buddy, the only person who has a vibranium shield is Captain America. That's it. Nobody else does. So for... That would have implicated that that, that that was vibranium then. Yeah, it would implicate that that is vibranium, especially considering there's <clears throat> no way that without super soldier serum, she could have thrown that shield as well as Captain America would have to do that, to embed itself in the wall right, like that. Right, exactly. So Because that Captain didn't... America has has enhanced super strength. He can whip a shield, and it, because it's vibranium, it will embed itself in a concrete like that. Right, whereas the other one can't do that. Whereas a yeah, regular she, shield yeah, wouldn't. Even yeah. if it was titanium, like I said, it would not have stuck to the it wall. It still would have, it would have bent bounced and, off, yeah, exactly. it would have dented yeah. the wall, it would, whatever. Yeah. Um, Captain America might have been able to get a titanium shield to embed itself in a wall. But even his vibranium shield would have bounced off of it. Yeah. It never would have embedded itself in the wall like that. Funny, um, eh? But that's, that's a good, that's a good so point. So that's the thing. Um, is it, it, it implied that she had a vibranium shield, which is impossible. And it implied that she could throw it as hard and as accurately as Captain America. Which, which again, is, it's not. Which can't. Yeah. She might be able to throw it in the same manner by studying how he throws the shield, which would allow her some a level of accuracy, like it would with the bow or a gun, but it wouldn't, but it wouldn't allow no. for the same skill level that he had with it. Um, so that was a misnomer. Yeah. So I wasn't happy with that. And I wasn't happy with um, the fact that they made it Drakoff's daughter. Um, that was not, an original not, story? Not because, no. Okay. Not because it was a woman, but because it wasn't who the taskmaster <clears throat> is. So in the comics, that's not who the Taskmaster is. And at the same time, if they were going to change it for the movie, which is fine, I don't have issues with them necessarily changing characters from male to female or whatever. What I have issue with is at the end, they hit her with that uh, that gas red, stuff, red, thing, red yeah. gas, and it freed her from his mind control or whatever it was. So the Taskmaster won't return as a villain, right? Whereas like, he does? Whereas in the comics... Taskmaster is a villain because he's a villain. Like he's not a good guy. So he can uh, come back. So they've cut right? him off at the so past. So they've or? cut this villain off as ever returning. And, and I hate when they do that. Like they've only really allowed okay. Loki to be a recurring villain, it seems. And it would be nice to see other villains that are recurring villains. Okay. You know, um, that's why I like Spider-Man uh, Homecoming is because they didn't kill Michael Keaton's vulture. That means that we're going to see Michael Keaton's Vulture again, which we're supposed to in the Morbius movie. Um, oh, really? Yeah, and supposed okay. to in the next Spider-Man movie, supposedly. <clears throat> so I like that, you know, when they don't kill a villain, then we get to see it again, right? Like, the, the maybe, we may not, because they have so many villains to go through, we may never, but the chance, the possibility is always there. If you kill the villain, okay. then you can't bring it back. Right. And I don't like that aspect. I don't like killing a villain just for the sake of killing it when you can't bring it back. Sounds so, reasonable. Um, now, I mean, it's fine if they make it look like the villain died, like I'm guessing they did with Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home. I think they made it look like Mysterio was killed, but I think actually he really wasn't because I think they're going to bring him back when they do their Sinister Six thing. So... <laughs> You know, I, but I, so Black Widow, I didn't have a problem with them switching necessarily the gender. Um, it didn't fit because, of course, it, it derailed who the Taskmaster completely was. Um, that I means think they'll it have to take it on another track. Yeah, then. I think it would have been better if they had just made the Taskmaster somebody Drakoff had hired, like a mercenary that had, that he had hired to do his thing and get the get okay. the chemical back or whatever. Like I, that would have been better to me. Um, I don't think it it would have made any. It, so it know. didn't add to the story, basically. No. It, it, to okay. me, it wouldn't have changed anything if they had done it that way. All right. Okay. Interesting um, concept. I thought that it was really cool the way they introduced uh, Red Guardian because as soon as I saw him, and they were escaping, and and I was like, 
Okay. And when he lifted that trailer and threw it, yeah. I was like, he's got super soldier serum. Well, yeah. And I'm like, how the hell did he get super soldier serum? And then when they explained that he was actually Russian, I was like, ah, Winter Soldier program. Yeah. That, that was where they must have gotten some super soldier serum was from that. Somehow when giving it to him. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, the fact that he was, he had that. And, and honestly, like, I don't care how well Taskmaster could mimic his fighting style when the two of them were fighting. Yeah. He had super soldier serum. He had one hands down. So they really screwed that one up it, too. It just doesn't matter. You can you can fight just as you can you can yeah. have the okay. same fighting style and the same fighting moves, but we all know if you have two people who have the exact same fighting style, the stronger one, the stronger and faster one is the one who's going to win. Yeah, that's just that's just basic combat. That's, that's right. Yeah. Anybody will tell you that somebody who is stronger and faster than you is going to beat you. Yeah. There's the chance that if they're str just stronger, they might not beat you. You might be able to, you might be able to outdo them in speed. But when you got super both soldier, things going, super soldier yeah, serum yeah. gives you gives you enhanced endurance, enhanced durability, enhanced agility, enhanced stamina, and it gives you enhanced agility, uh, dexterity, and enhanced strength. So you're you should so win hands down. You're faster, yeah, yeah. you're tougher, and you're stronger than your opponent. If they can fight exactly like you, shouldn't make a difference. That's right. Yep. They're going to win because they are stronger, faster, whatever, right? Yep. Like, that's why. Um, that makes sense. So uh, that that didn't – even though he was fat, again. Or fat than he – yeah. You know, even though he's faster and all that, and it doesn't matter. Like, he's he's, – he's, Yeah. He's, he, just because he's fatter, I mean. The um, serum should make it, a difference. It, it, it's still going to make a difference yeah. because – well, and first of all, he wouldn't become fat. Because the super soldier serum would keep them thin. Keep them thin right, because exactly. it, it, it keeps your, uh, metabolism, your metabolism going at a higher rate. Like yeah. look at in Falcon and the Winter Soldier when they showed um, when they showed uh, the Super Patriot guy. Yeah, right? yeah, the okay. old uh, yeah. Isaac, the That's black right. fella. He, he was thin. He was he. No, he wasn't thin. He was still buff. Well, I'm, I'm okay. Like I'm just was, saying. He was still okay. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Like, I'm just saying because but, even though he was old, because that the serum would have kept him that way. Yeah, and. You know, uh, unless there's something different about the Russian version of the serum, I can't see it. <laughs> That's cute, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, you know. So, but well, anyway, anyway, other than that, I, I you know, I mean, the movie is just it's great, phenomenal. I mean, hands down, it, it's a good movie. Uh, interestingly enough, um, when we we cut briefly for you to take the dogs out, I checked IMDb, and IMDb, you asked me before. I looked at it. You said, what would I give it? Yeah. And I said, I give it a 7 out of 10. IMDb, it has a 7.1 out of 10. There you go. See? <laughs> so that's really funny that I was like. That's good. Uh, it has Who's a right on the money? It has a 91% audience reaction yeah. as liking it. Uh, it's got an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. So, I mean, like, it's it's got good ratings. Can't um, go wrong with that. It's made $150-some million dollars worldwide since Friday. Wow. Uh, it is the biggest opening movie um that's happened during the, the entire pandemic wow okay uh so you know i mean it's so obvious the, that people are itching to get back to seeing marvel movies yeah so you know you it's go. got it's, excellent it's, reviews i mean aside from the jokers that like to point out everything right that exactly they you know the, but, the haters but you, you know, know but like don't worry I mean, about them yeah not a bad movie um good you know so i uh, like Overall, Just, it's getting good reviews. Yeah, like I said, uh, and so getting back to the movie and what we had talked about before the show, I had mentioned that I was upset at some of the things. So we talked about Taskmaster. Yeah, what else? Well, the other thing is that I was disappointed that they didn't show how she got away from General Ross at the end. Yeah, that's right. They cut right away, didn't they? Like, yeah. you know, of course, like, you know, Lexi and uh, uh you uh, Yelena and uh, yeah, they Elena, all just they, all, they, yeah, they yeah. got they got away with the other b widows, right? That's right. But and she said she's going to wait, and she was waiting for Ross and all of the that's right. dudes they all to drive on the up. Thing and went, and she stayed. Yeah, that's they right. They didn't show how she got away, but then the next time we see her, she's in her blonde hair and yeah. green and black vested outfit that we see her in in Infinity War, just that's before true. she goes off. To help Steve rescue Falcon and Ant Man and everybody but from the But they didn't show us how they. But they didn't that show us transpired. how she got there, and then they didn't show us that. I was like, ah oh, man. Yeah, that's. But 
Uh, and of course, like I said, Robert Downey Jr. was supposed to make an appearance in an old clip that they were supposed to reuse that had been shot but never used in Civil War, and they didn't do that. Um, wow, yeah. Yeah, so a couple of little little things. Uh, the other thing is, is her buddy um, that was getting her all the stuff. I would love to know how he was able to steal a Quinjet from you know, Avengers headquarters. I'd love to know how he did that without Iron Man, you know, coming down on him. I, I just, I'd like, how did he even get that? Like, but they didn't show that either. No, yeah. they, didn't they don't show, show how he gets anything really. Yeah, so. Just, he does procure things. Yeah. But, um, apparently he's somebody who used to be in shield, I guess. So he has an in some, there. So yeah, maybe yeah. that's how, I don't know, but, uh, it's, you know, it's just, it was interesting. Uh, they, they're, they're, they're little nitpicks. They're not big. It's just things I wish they had shown that they didn't. So the only nitpick I have was really about the Taskmaster and how they messed it up with yeah. doing things that they, the you know, had I around. said, had they just made it, they could have even made it a female Taskmaster. Had they just made it somebody that was hired by Drakoff? Yeah, it would have been it okay. It would have been way better. Yeah, yeah. Um, even if that person had been hired by him and then it, it brainwashed in the same way, fine. But to make it his daughter and everything, it just turned out to be too, too I guess, cliche. It didn't fit. Didn't fit. Yeah, yeah it yeah. just was, you know. I follow um, that. So, you know, I guess that's, you know. But still, it's a seven, so. Yeah, I thought it was a good movie. You know. Uh, the, of course, the after the credit scene, if you don't know, there is only one end of the credit scene, which is the, the first time they've only done one in a long time. Like. But they did it, so at least it's there. Well, no, I think they only did one with uh, Endgame as well to think of it but yeah um or no maybe no 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 they ended it with just uh, uh they did ended end game with only one as well just iron man's hammer banging there wasn't actually any credit scene but but anyway they, anyway they only have one and it's uh she's at the, uh, the grave uh, yelena yeah. is visiting natasha's grave and of course um we see um what's her face uh elaine from seinfeld uh yeah why can't I had her name? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, anyway, the, the one from Falcon and the Winter Soldier who recruits, uh, who recruits, um, uh, you okay there? Oh, Frig, why can't I remember his name either? You know, uh, the guy who was Captain America recruits him. Um, what was her name? Romano? No, no, that's it's Natasha Romano. Um, now you got me thinking. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, it's going to come to me at the strangest time. But anyway, so she's meeting up with uh, Yelena. And it's it's almost as if Yelena is already working for her because she says, you're not supposed to bother me when I'm on vacation. Yeah. Which, okay, um, is really interesting. Um it uh i was like hmm, interesting that they're that they're doing that so um, so she's taking over well uh, she's building her own avengers right okay like she's um she's building like her own like kind of avengers team. team and they're all i guess they're all going to kind of be like dark she's not a good person like i said in the comics she's known as madam hydra right and okay. she's a member of hydra yeah, so you said that a couple weeks ago now i don't know if they're gonna bring that over as her being part of hydra or maybe she was part of hydra and when it collapsed in shield then she went off to do her own thing maybe i don't know but um hmm but it, it's, you know, I mean, there is a connection there. And that's how they're, they've tied it to, of course, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, and they're tying it to Hawkeye because she's sending uh, Yelena after You said that too, after yeah. Hawkeye, right, so. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it is interesting. But if you haven't seen the end credits scene, there's only the one. Just watch all the way through the credits and. It'll be there at the end. Or do yeah. what I did on Disney Plus. And just, just fast skip. forward through it. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Skip right to the end. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like, so well, we'll find do you have out. a favorite part? Well, you know, mm. when it comes right down to it, my favorite part mm. of all mm. movies that I see is when the bad guy gets his comeuppance. Yeah. Because that's the way I wish the real world was. 
So, so when when the helicopter blows when up, when he blows up, I'm like, good for you. Get, yeah. You know, you know, another one gets it. Yeah. Thank you. You know, <laughs> he definitely deserved it. Drake oh, was a Christ, bad did he guy, ever. man. Yeah. He was a bad dude. You know, he I was. wish all bad guys got their asses blown off. Mm. You know, but you know, he definitely deserved it. He was a bad dude. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's my favorite part. Just seeing the bad guys get what they deserve. That's. I think my favorite part was trying to watch Red Guardian squeeze into that outfit again and then coming. Well, out that was funny. Still yeah. fits. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's awesome because it was so funny. It was right. It was just like to me, it was like that's funny. That's mm -hmm. good. That's a good spot. You know. So yeah, there. That's my fart. That's Natasha. Good. Don't slouch. Yeah. I'm not. I don't slouch. Yeah. yeah. You're going to get humping back. Yeah. I, don't, I don't slouch. Yeah. yeah. That was. That was it was funny. typical family crap. Yeah. It on was the, just yeah, yeah, that yeah, whole yeah. scene was yeah. just funny. Right? Sitting at the I, table with all the. Yeah. That whole scene was just funny. I thought it was really good, but yeah. Um, but anyway, there you go. Yeah, and I, then I enjoyed of course it I thought it was funny how they didn't keep him in in the loop. And then he's like, oh, Natasha, I want to tell you, She's, you don't have any. You don't have. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't part of that. How come I wasn't in on the plan? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny, dude. It was a lot of good stuff there. Like it was. It was really good. I was. Ha I was happy with it. It was. It was a good movie. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's a good movie. Yeah, you'll go enjoy. Go give it. it a watch. I think you'll really like it. And let us know what you think too. For sure, definitely. And uh, what would you give it out of ten? There you, you know, go. Are, oh, you yeah, right, tell are you right there around where me is as a seven, and where yeah. IMDb has it, or? What? Or are you like more of an 8 out of 10? Like Rotten Tomatoes or a 9 out of 10? Like I would have given it an 8. I would have well, given it an 8. You're on board with IMDb's rating. I'm yeah. with, or not IMDb's, no. you're with uh, uh, the Rotten Tomatoes yeah. version. Yeah. And uh, uh, Google it an has it at a 9.1 and I wow. have it at a 7. So. Okay. Where do yeah. you sit in there? Yeah, yeah. where do you Let sit us at know. It? What do you think of it? What was your favorite part? Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Just really, really cool. I Give us your feedback and we'd like to know where we sit with your... Yeah. And, uh, of course, you know, if you're lucky, you can go find yourself one of these really awesome black leaders. That's right. Somewhere. Exactly. Thank you, Kim. Or for, uh, or for all intent and purpose. Kim you could didn't all... just get me one. She got me two. So that if this one wears out, I still have another well, one. Well, there you go. So there but you go. see, at the same time, they could go to our site and get our they, shirts. That's right. You can go get yourself a Let's Talk with the Saw shirt. That's right. Exactly. Or if you're a girl, you can get a skirt. Or a dress, or if you whatever, want, or a shirt as well. Yeah, that's uh, right. You can get, you can get, uh, you can get sweaters. You can get face masks. You all kinds of stuff. All kinds of cool stuff yep. there. So check all it kinds out. of stuff on our website. Check it out, and, and you can uh, be walking around with a Let's Talk thing. That's right. And uh, you know, be cool. So um, otherwise, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the movie. What about you? Anything? I nope. You you covered I what I had to say. I thought it was good. Uh, it, you know, fantastic action. Good comedy. And Pongo well liked it too. Yeah. Yeah. Talked to, you know, it, it gave us a little bit into the backstory of who Natasha was, which I liked. Um, because she's easily been one of my favorite characters in the Avengers movies. Right? So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let us know what you think and um, comment below. Don't forget uh, to like, subscribe, check out our other channels. You can get to all of them through the uh, superlativeradio.com. Uh, yep. Superlativeradio.com or you can get them through the link uh above which is uh other channels yep and uh yeah we will see you guys for another episode of let's talk with the saw later this week for the last and final episode of loki yep and so we'll, we'll be there for then. that too all right catch you guys later stay healthy <laughs>